Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Frame Page once again. Now, I am going to uh, basically show you an overview of Windows 8.1 64 bit. <clears throat> uh, I will be using a virtual machine, obviously. <laughs> um, I did previously do this video with Cam Studio or Cam something on Windows 8.1 actual, like the OS, but I seem to have lost that video so I couldn't be bothered reinstalling Windows and partitioning a drive and whatever just to re uh, reinstall 8.1 again so I'm just going to use a virtual machine anyway as we power this on you will see that the boot logo for 8.1 is now a fish don't ask me why <laughs> because I have no idea it used to be like a little uh, sort of modern uh, Windows window type of thing but anyway I'll just talk you through the uh, install process and some of the things that have been changed within the install process and also the things that were changed within the actual OS itself so hopefully this will load <laughs> so oh. yeah so Windows is actually installed or Windows 8.1 is installed uh, I'm just at the point where it's getting all the devices ready and you know doing all those personalization settings or it's trying to load to that stage um, I don't know if I pointed out this before but I have been uh, I only have two gigs of RAM actually dedicated to this VMware workstation of Windows 8.1 so that's it would take a lot longer than if you set say four gigs because four gigs of RAM is the sort of uh, my personal minimum of RAM usage to give to a VM software or even an actual operating system because 2 gigs of RAM is the minimum uh, minimum requirement to run an operating system but on 2 gigs of RAM it'll be really really slow because that's the like bare minimum that it can actually run with so I'm just going to leave this with say test PC um, you can use any okay whatever next uh, Express settings. So if you have already used uh, Windows 8 in the past, so say if you installed uh, the Windows 8 RTM back when RTM or uh, Windows 8 was still in sort of like a beta stage, uh, you will notice quite a lot of change between the installer and the actual OS itself. And I'll just quickly, hopefully, get through those stages without any issues. Come on. Yes, I have it. Network connection. Hurry up. Next, we'll set up your account. Congratulations. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. As I said, it's going to take a little bit longer because I only have two gigs of RAM dedicated to it. And it's not like it's installing on an actual partition, like proper Windows. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by proper Windows. Um, yes, I named my SSD sex drive. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, it's not installing anything like this. It's just installing sort of like its own ISO type of thing, but it's like compressible, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure how that works, but you can set up a, your own partition, but I didn't really want to do that through VMware because I don't know how that sort of plays out. I should have actually partitioned the drive that I wanted, <clears throat> pardon me, to actually install it in, but yeah, I just couldn't be bothered. Hurry up! Okay, I'll just quickly pause it. It's taking a bit too long. Okay, so this is basically what I was talking about. If you just re uh, if you just installed Windows 8.1, you'll notice that you only get prompted to connect this PC with a Microsoft account. There's no option to actually create a local account right out of the gate. You actually have to sign into your Microsoft account in order to actually get on to Windows 8.1 which I find kind of annoying because I don't wanna I'm one of those people that don't like to use passwords when they have a user account on Windows so 
because I don't really, you know, I don't have anything to hide. If there's people that uh, in my house, say, if friends come over or my family want to use my PC, that's fine. They can switch it on, use it without asking me for a password or I don't, I don't know. I just find it annoying and just more time consuming <clears throat> because if I'm restarting my computer, I go off and do something else, come back and my computer's on. If I, do, if I don't have a password, yeah, but if I have a password, it comes up with a password, then when I get back, it comes up with a password and put it in. I just hate it. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly put my details in. I'll skip to the next bit. Now, also, I will show you <clears throat> how to actually, if you want to create a local user account, I will show you guys how to actually create that uh, and the process of how to do so. Um... It's a lot different, or not really a lot different, but you know, it's. I personally liked being able to do that as I installed Windows 8. So, with this feature being removed completely from Windows 8.1, I find it kind of irritating, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. I'll show you guys how to do that first before I actually get into the new features of Windows 8.1. Now I'll just quickly pause it because this might take a little bit. Okay, so now that we're actually in the Metro UI, um, okay, there we go. That's how we get to the desktop. Now I'm just going to quickly change the screen resolution because it is quite bloody low. So just put it up to there, yes, there we go, now it's full screen, um, oh no, it's actually too big, wait, whatever, go away, anyway, whatever. <laughs> okay, so this is basically what Windows 8.1 Pro Preview looks like, now as you can see down here, it does have a start menu, but that start menu is not like Windows 7. It basically brings up what was already the start menu on Windows 8. Now, if you're one of those people that don't really like the Metro UI to begin with, and I know that it's not called the Metro UI anymore, but that's just what I've sort of stuck with using, uh, or the term that I've stuck with using. So basically, this is still intrusive. This isn't what I intended the start menu to actually look like, because none of this stuff that I none of the stuff that's right here I actually use. The only thing that I use to get back to the desktop is that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the only other uh, sort of way that I could ever see that this is working is that uh, see like all of these I may use like the control panel uh, run this PC which this PC is meant to be computer, I'll get to that in a minute, task manager and stuff, but I want it sort of to look like a Windows 7 uh, start menu, right? So they could still have the title, uh, the tiles, sorry, don't get me wrong, but because you can still have the ability to resize them, say, to small, so it looks like this, and you can still have, you know, like a UI that's about this big, or uh, I'll just quickly go back to the desktop. And show you what I mean. Um, no, go back. Okay. So what I mean by this is that they could still have this type of UI going on, but actually make it a start menu thing. So you click on it, and it brings up, say, uh, you know, start, and then it, it sort of looks like these tiles, but in the same layout as Windows 7. Now I'll show you what I mean. Um, hopefully, anyway. Uh, Go to Google. Okay, there we go. Now Windows 7 start menu. Okay, oh, it's starting to lag a little bit. There we go. Okay, so they could have something similar to this, but have instead of where it says or has these, it could, these could be tiles. Now I don't mind if the tiles are like big or the UI goes about like this size of the screen, but I want a non-intrusive 
Metro UI or a start menu UI and what I mean by this is that it's not full screen so you know uh, on Windows 7 when the met uh, the start menu comes up you can click on the desktop to take it away Windows 8 point one or Windows 8 you can't do that which I find really irritating now to show you some more things now they've I don't know why they've done this but they've forced the folders to actually be opened on Windows 7 the folders are sort of tucked away like that but anyway now another thing that I will say about this is or Windows 8.1 is that for some reason the floppy drives and the USBs are before the local disks or any other hard drives that you have so I don't know why it's like that but yeah for some reason this is actually showing correctly but on when I actually physically installed Windows 8.1 on a, a hard drive partition the uh, disk drive was on this side on this side here um, and the USBs were also on this side which I find kind of annoying and also this PC I don't know why it says that it should still say computer but that's sort of like a minimal issue there but yeah there isn't really too much that has changed between Windows 8.1 and Windows uh, 8 the only difference I see really is that the you can't uh, during the install you can't create a local account and I'm just going to quickly show you how to make one if you desire so you go search oh and also the search bar here is everywhere so before it was like settings folders or whatever now you can select everything and then type whatever you want say control panel and it comes up or you can type in ms config and it comes up so anyway I'm just gonna open up control panel and see that's really annoying as well because you have to go down to the bottom right go search or start and then it's not in here you have to click here and then click on control panel if it was a smaller sort of start menu UI you would click this click control panel and you're there it's a lot faster than having to go through all of this just to get to one thing that you want so the people that sort of like that Metro UI like I don't have a problem with it but I just don't want it to be full screen when it comes up and I want the same sort of stuff that's actually in the Windows 7 version of the start menu to be in the <clears throat> pardon me in the Metro UI because I don't care for all that social bullshit at all so it's just really intrusive for me anyway but anyway I'll just quickly show you how to create a uh, local user account so what I mean by local user account as I don't know if I mentioned this before but when you sign into Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 you have to put in a password so you put in your um, Microsoft uh, email account details and stuff and then you can boot then you have to put in a password with a local user account you don't have to put in a password at all so uh, I'll just quickly uh, make you one so you basically you go uh, I'll do it again you go control panel user accounts and family safety user accounts and then manage another account now here you will see this down the bottom here it says add a new user in PC settings now PC settings is one of those other things that comes up full screen and I hate it because you can't actually close the damn thing but anyway this is what I'm talking about uh, and I'll go through this in a bit more detail as well but basically you click on add user uh, sign in without a Microsoft account not recommended so this UI right here came up in the Windows 8 install so where it said that I had to put in an email address to continue or whatever it still had the option to sign in without a Microsoft account in Windows 8.1 Pro Preview there's no option to do so at all so basically I'm just going to click here and then local account signing in with a local local account means you get rid of this stuff so if you don't want to lose these then you still have to use your Microsoft account but me personally I don't care for any of this so local account 
create user, say rampage or whatever user you want. You don't have to put in a password or password hint. So click next and there you go. Now you can also create a local account for a child or whatever if you have several uh, people using your account or your computer and or you have children in your house and you want to turn on family safety so that gets rid of like uh, porn searching and all this sort of stuff as well I think as well I'm not too sure but now to actually make this account your default you have to do this uh, wait 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 uh, control alt uh, I don't know how to get back out how do I uh, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two accounts. I'm going to log into my local account so then I can delete my old uh, Microsoft account from the user accounts or accounts manager. So, oh, actually, I think it's going to. Oh no, it's going to log into all the settings. So I'm just going to quickly pause the video. So, okay, so I'm back on the desktop. Now we go to here, uh, right click down here, go control panel, wait for that to load. And again, it's going to be slow because I'm only using 2 gigs of RAM. But uh, anyway, to make the local account the administrator, you have to go back into user accounts, go to uh, change your account type, change the account type, administrator, change type. Now I think I can make it get rid of this account and now I, c I can delete the account delete files delete account click yes and then that should do stuff but on Windows 8.1 Pro preview it does sort of take a little bit longer but yeah there you go that's how you get a administrator local account the hard way <laughs> see on Windows 8 you can do you can create a local account which automatically gets an administrator account type during the actual install of Windows 8. So th hopefully they do fix this when 8.1 becomes uh, sort of public, I guess, or gets released, because that whole thing is just really irritating, <laughs> and I don't understand why they removed it. And again, I will point out they really should put back the logout button whether it be here or whatever I still want to, the option to be able to log out now I have, I think I've missed something but I'll just quickly show you a few things I've picked up that I'm not too sure whether they were in Windows 8 or whether they were put into Windows 8.1 so uh, hold on okay so if you still want that peek at, win, at uh, the desktop to show up so say if you've got several tabs open I'm just gonna open up uh, computer and Windows Explorer or Internet Explorer sorry you can click this button under notification area that says use peek to preview the desktop when you move the mouse to the show but uh, desktop button at the end of the taskbar so I don't know why this isn't <clears throat> an actual like feature that's already enabled because it was enabled I think in Windows 8 as far as I know, um, but yeah, hold on, I'll just quickly go back there. There we go. Now navigation. Uh, you can also get rid of some of the uh, features like uh, this one and whatnot. So when you go here, it doesn't show that. I think. Wait. Yep. So it doesn't show that. And then the upper left corner, switch between apps. So yep, that's gone. Hold on, I think that's gone, yeah. Uh, replace one, no. Uh, da -da -da -da, go to desktop instead of the start when I sign in. That didn't seem to work when I booted. And I'll just show you that again. Uh, show me desktop, background on start. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, show me start. Okay, so that's just a few things that you can do. Unfortunately, you can't actually get rid of this <laughs> or change the uh, start button but you know anyway now I'll just quickly close all this stuff uh, oh yes I was going to show you guys PC settings so PC settings is 
under the Metro UI sort of thing. Now, th I don't have a problem with this, but I would like to see um, me be being able to actually access the taskbar. Um, not because it's just like full screen or whatever. It just makes it easier for me to switch between them. And I hope to God that Windows or uh, Microsoft actually decides to uh, make uh, you know the PC settings or whatever you have. Uh, hold on, just let me try and figure out how to get out of there. There we go. Now I'm just going to show you the task manager real quick. So this is the task manager for Windows 8. It's basically the same for Windows 8.1. I really like this idea for the task manager. I don't know why Windows 7 hasn't got this update yet because if Windows 7 had this update, I wouldn't have any need to get Windows 8 and I may install Windows 8 again but I just don't want Windows 8.1 because uh, start 8 doesn't work which is a start menu button on Windows 8 just uh, Windows 8.1 just yet but basically you can see your computer's performance your CPU memory your hard drive the uh, internet sound to noise ratio or send receive ratio sorry or what you're sending and receiving anyway so what I was uh, trying to say before is when uh, you see PC settings here, PC settings isn't in uh, in the taskbar here. I would like to see all of these sort of like apps that they've incorporated into Windows 8 in like if if I open one of them, I want to see it in the taskbar because not only would that make it just a lot easier, but I don't know. Just when they when you close it, it sort of suspends that that program in RAM. So say if it's using twenty four point three mem uh, meg of memory, then that will get suspended if I'm not in it, which is what you see right now. I'm pretty sure. But um, hold on, I just find out how to see suspend. I remember doing it the other day. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually remember how to do it, but you can see which uh, processes are actually suspended. Uh, was it in this one? I don't know. It was w it was one of them that you could see it. But yeah, another thing to point out: the startup processes is in the task manager as well. And w also, what I don't understand is I'm just going to show you now: is that you can still get to this part, say if you are trying to uh, disable some of your programs on startup in Windows 7, you would go msconfig, click there, and then, uh, whatever, I don't have a password, what are you talking about, go away, um, go to startup, and then it says the startup <clears throat> for system configuration is still here, it just tells you to go to task manager. So why does the task manager one have me limited to what options I can do than the Windows 7 one and it's still actually here, it just directs me to the task manager. So what I'm talking about is if you go back to Windows 7 or if you look at Windows 7 and you go to the st uh, system configuration, go startup and click on one of the icons, you can click to disable it or go to properties or what have you. Uh, it just looks a lot more easier to use um, and some of the actual features like the uh, Windows features that might come up you can disable them in this one you can't you have no option to do so now I think I've missed something but if I have missed something please le again leave it in the comment section below if you want me to go through it because I've, I'm sure that I've missed something along the lines of this but yeah again if you want me to install Windows 7 uh, sorry Windows 8 and show you guys how to install a third party start menu button I'm willing to do that I'm willing to reinstall Windows 8 um, because I just like the task manager and some of the power saving features with Windows 8 but thank you guys for watching my overview for Windows 8.1 Pro preview and my thoughts Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name is Rampage. Peace out.